right now and forever, as long as we've had rockets, yeah, yeah. we've been using what we, we call chemical fuels. Mm -hmm. Tell me about plasma rockets because there's a lot written about it. Yeah. And we're not even talking about fusion yet. We're just yes. keeping in your plasma universe. Yes. T tell plasma me. propulsion is the next generation of rockets, specifically plasma rockets. And they're highly and efficient, they, yes? Yes, they are highly efficient. In terms of, so there are several things about them is that um, the exhaust velocity is really high and you detach these, continuously detach these plasma from the back of the rocket and at high velocity and uh, the rocket is being propelled forward. You wouldn't use plasma rockets to launch. No, 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 no. You know, it's like one particle at a time. And so yeah. you slowly accelerate, mm -hmm. but acceleration is a constant, in this case, increase because in your velocity. Yeah, there's resistance mm -hmm. coming on the rocket. There's no resistance out there, just mm -hmm. it's a recoil, mm -hmm. right? But since it's constant, and you do it for a long time, a long you time. can reach very high speeds. Exactly. How fast you can, can you go? It, it, you can get to uh, 100, 500 kilometer per second. But you need to, to get to that speed, you know. Uh, if you go to the moon, uh, you don't need that much of a speed. And mm. you could do it with this plasmoid rocket. You can do, you know, small payloads in three weeks or something with this plasma rocket. And it's not that this is sci-fi, no. This is actually for real because we do plasma propulsion with just electric field. Now we are doing magnetic, using electromagnetic field. 